Hendlo. <coughs> this video is made in partnership with Salad.io. More on them later in the video. Number one. Opposite rotation. You have to be physically brain dead if you don't know this one by now. But if you want to rotate blocks the other way, like so, then simply set your rotations to 90 and then press T twice. Your axis of rotation will be flipped 180 degrees and you can rotate your blocks backwards to your heart's content. If you want to support my channel, then consider hijacking a passenger aircraft and playing my videos back to back of the in flight entertainment system and threaten to crash a plane unless everyone subscribed within 10 minutes. You can also just subscribe, yes? Number 2 Cloning and Duplicating Builds Cheaping, or otherwise even known as cloning, is an absolutely vital tool in every builder's toolbox when it comes to making large-scale builds and builder boats. Anything from detailed hairs on a penis or anti-aircraft guns on a builder ship, duping assets onto your builds helps save time by a wide margin, so here's how. Place a dupe aid on your build per se, a battleship, usually just a block and a seat on that block, or even relative to it. Now, go over to your asset, <laughs> as it. <laughs> In this case, a 40mm Quad Bofors anti-aircraft machine gun and place a block on it where you want your mesh to be on your ship. And then place a seat either on that block or relative to it and use either the hinge glitch, a jetpack or any other flight glitch and bring it out to the first stage. Now, load your build, and when it's loaded, come back and um, place it on the seat. Lo and behold, your anti-aircraft gun has been mounted onto a battleship successfully. Blin. Number 3. Use cylinders to make better creations. Do your creations look like something from a Minecraft tutorial? Is it so blocky that the Discord female you have a crush on calls it a deplorable sack of shit? Well, I have something picking up. Anomalies! Anomalies? Yes, of highest quality. From a chemical, botanical, satanic and beyond, the spawn that makes you ponder your these anomalies. Yes, anomalies. Affordable in this economy. From wonderful corners of the map, where two that scan attack. JK is actually maths. Now, here's how to replace blocky parts with cylinders to make them rounder. <laughs> Do you like free money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yes or I'll sell your left kidney. Yes. Well, you're in luck because this video is sponsored by Saran. What? You reluctantly ponder as I plant an M18A1 Claymore remotely detonated anti-personnel shrapnel mine outside your bedroom. Well, salad, love a piece of shit vegan food, is an app that gives you free money for doing nothing. You can have it running when you're sleeping or simply doing crack in your mum's closet and use this your PC to compute stuff for other people. It essentially adds your PC to a network of computers, aka a render farm called the kitchen. TLDR, make money by doing absolutely nothing. You can exchange your credits for Robux, gift cards, prepaid credit cards and video games. Download the free app with the link in the description and use the promo code DOGMEAT for two times money multiplier for one month. Doing so will help me tremendously. Your support gives me a financial incentive to continue making these cringy videos for some reason. And yeah, now go and download Salad and use the promo code DOGMEAT. First, take measurements of the cross section of a part. Like this little beam here, give the scale tool by scaling it slightly and seeing what value changes. That value will be the diameter of your cylinder. The simplest cylinder to make is the octagonal cylinder. Just place a block down onto block A, scale it to size and place a block rotated 45 degrees on block A. Scale it to block A's width.
Now we will make a segment by scaling the first block to make a small outline on the second block. And then scale the second block to meet up with the first block. Place the third block and scale it to block A size. Scale it so that the first block in this block forms the cross. Repeat that to make another cross. And now you should have a simple round peak. Okay, so here's a circle. It's a polygon with infinite sides, and we know that infinity is merely a concept, so if we aspire to achieve perfection, we shall achieve excellence, so lots of sides then. Here's an example of one. Start by placing a block, scale it to whatever dimensions you need. Then place another block at an angle, for example, 20 degrees. Use the opposite rotation from chapter 1 to place another block 20 degrees in the other direction. Scale the first block so that it makes a slight imprint on the two other blocks like so. Delete those two blocks, then use the deep glitch from chapter 2 to clone the first block 90 degrees to make a cross. Take the cross and dupe it into the same place at a 20 degree interval like what I'm doing now. Keep going until you have a circle.